the sun is shining. Ren looks really ready to get up for school. Is there somebody under here? I pick up the camera and video today I don't know why I don't know what's come over me I think firstly it's Friday secondly the Sun is really shining today and I don't want to be one of these people that constantly go on about the weather but I can't help it because when it is sunny doesn't it just make such a difference to your mood like I've woken up this morning like feeling really good and it's just such lovely weather and it just makes me really happy so I thought I'd pick up the camera and film because also I'm doing something that I wouldn't normally do on a Friday, I'm going out in a little bit so I thought why not pick up the camera and start filming again because I have very much been in Disney vlog mode the last couple of months. We got back in February, the middle of February, end of February, oh I don't know, we got back in February and I've only just finished the last video last week and it's because I wanted to take my time like editing them because I really enjoy it and then I didn't want to stick up random videos in between because I just thought it like went out of sync a little bit so as such now they're finished and back filming again so I'm looking forward to filming some more videos and regular videos again and stuff but I wanted to quickly show you before the start of this, well at the start of this video before I get on with my day. I am working with Cupshe on part of this video and I wanted to show you what I got from there. My order arrived last night so I thought it would be the perfect time to try it all on and show you what I got. So if you haven't heard of Cupshe before, they are an online clothing brand. I always sort of associated them with summer stuff and beachwear and swimwear and stuff, but actually they've got a huge range of choice on there, not just summer stuff, so all seasons and different things. So I would definitely recommend checking them out. I'll leave all the details in the description box, but what I'm gonna do is like talk you through what I bought um, and then also show you it on, if you know what I mean, because I think that you can definitely see um, better when it's on someone, what it looks like. I should also apologize as well, I've got really bad puffy hay fever eyes. Um, I'm wondering, for the first time whether to get the hay fever injection because I think about it every year because everybody always raves about how good it is and then I just sort of like forget about it and don't do it. I don't know if I've left it too late in the season to get it done um, but I'm definitely thinking about getting it this year. So as a complete change of subject if you've had the hay fever injection let me know because um, I'd love to know your thoughts on how you found it but anyway I'm going to show you what I got from Cup Shitty. I must have stared at myself in the viewfinder for about two minutes before I started this because I feel like my t-shirt is like glaringly white on camera. I don't know if it's because I'm sat directly in front of a window, it's just blowing out the highlights a little bit, but I feel like it's just very, very like, I could be on um, one of these adverts for like dazzling white. So I also feel like it's making my teeth look very white as well. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've had my hair done. I had it done the other day. I'm sure you haven't noticed. It's a very, very subtle change, but I've had it a little bit darker. So I've had it a bit darker to sort of match more of my root colour and then I've had the sort of like darker colour smudged down a little bit and then like my blonde is sort of poking through and I really like it. Um, it does feel like it looks a bit darker on camera to actually how it is in real life but I do like it and it's going to fade a little bit as well because my hair has got quite red tones in it so um, it does eventually fade and sort of go a little bit more sort of ready colour and then I get it dyed again but there we go there's the story of my hair so I'm going to show you what I picked up from Cupshe so they have loads of different types of things on their website I think Cupshe are kind of known as bikinis and swimwear and cover-ups and things but they have loads of dresses loads of summer clothes but not just summer clothes as well they have sort of winter clothes and different things on there as well and they've just got such a massive selection be prepared to lose a whole evening because that's what happened to me I literally spent an entire evening looking on their website at all the different things so I'm going to show you what I've picked up for summer mainly summer bits what am I going to start with I think I'm going to start with this so I got this bikini which I absolutely love so it's this kind of pink floral bikini. It's got a little bit of padding because, you know, 
Um, some of us <laughs> need a little bit of padding, only a small bit. Just really like it, I love this floral pattern and I also love the um, purple. I think purple's really sort of in and this orange as well at the moment. And then it's got nice big knickers, which I will show you. Hold on one second, I'm just sort of sorting them out a little bit. So yeah, big knickers, kind of big high-waisted knickers, and I just really like that. They have so many different swimwear on there, bikinis, swimming costumes, you name it. I couldn't think of another version of a swimming costume, but yeah, I really like that. And in the video, you will see I have paired it with this cover-up, which I think is absolutely Gorgeous, I love this so much. So this is a stripy shirt cover up and you'll see on the video that I put on that I kind of buttoned it up, like you could obviously have it loose. I thought this would look lovely with a black bikini and like black sandals and lots of gold jewelry. And you could even wear it like out on holiday with like a black bikini, but then it actually done up um, and then tucked into shorts or open with your bikini and shorts. And I just really like it, it's kind of like, um, sort of got stripes on it, it's long and floaty and I just know that I will live in that on when we go on holidays. Sort of along the cover up line, well it is a cover up, is this, which is probably one of my favourite pieces that I picked up. So it's this sort of knitted cover up, um, it's got on the, I don't know if you can see there, I'm loving this sort of orangey colour, it's like almost like a neon orange, um, and then it's a long floaty cover up dress, and then it's got these sort of orange tassels on the bottom, um, but I thought that would look really lovely underneath with that, when you're sort of walking, you can imagine walking to a beach bar, with this on, your pool bar, going to go and get yourself a cocktail. In reality, I'd probably be walking like one of my kids to the toilet or to the kids pool or something, but you know, a girl can dream. Next thing, which I would sort of say is more on the cover up sort of side, but also you could wear this as a dress, and I definitely think I would wear this as a dress in the evenings, is this lovely knitted dress with look at this detail on the bottom. Um, I just think that's so pretty, it's almost like a mermaid. Um, I really like that, it's halt neck, so really high neck ties up here um, and I just thought that was really nice. The only thing is you can't wear a bra with this one because it comes down quite low at the back. Um, I did put a strapless bra on and sort of yank it down so it was still covering me on the boobs but then sort of yanked it down, um, down if you know what I mean so you didn't see it but I know that you can get bras that sort of like dip so maybe you'd get one of those or you would go braless whichever floats your boat but I don't know if you can see there it has got quite a low low back. I'm going to show you this. So this is just a really simple black dress and Cupshe have got loads of different things on their website so not just really sort of extravagant like holiday clothes, they've got glamorous things, they've even got wedding things on there, um, wedding guest stuff and things but they've also got some really simple stuff on there as well and I just really liked this. It's just a very simple black dress Again, quite a high neck because I'm really sort of liking that sort of style at the moment. High neck, which again I thought would look really nice with gold jewellery. But I got this because I knew that this would just be something in the summer. I don't know if you know what I mean. Sometimes, like when you're just at home at the weekend, you're like, and you want to go out in the garden and you might be sitting in the garden, you might be having a barbecue, but it's just you guys, you're not like doing anything particularly fancy. And you're like, oh, I could wear my sort of nice dresses, but equally I am just sat out in the garden. And I thought, you know what, this is that kind of dress to sort of shove on for the school run with a pair of like sandals um, or just to sort of like chuck on when you're in the garden but like want to look nice but you know you're not doing anything really fancy just really simple really really simple black cotton dress um, quite long and I just thought I would like live in that that is the type of thing that I will genuinely live in all summer long I thought that would also look really nice with like a denim jacket as well next up is this one so this is a little play suit which I thought was lovely it ties up so it sort of cinches you in it's got a little popper here so you're not sort of too exposed. I love that khaki colour. It's sort of a linen-y type material. Um, again, I thought this would look really nice with like big chunky jewellery and black sandals or sort of, what are those sandals called? Like, not raffia sandals. You know what I mean, those sort of kind of, not wicker either. I don't know what I mean, but you know what I mean. 
hopefully you know what I mean. Um, I thought that would look really nice with like a wicker bag as well. Um, just a little play suit, I just thought that was lovely. Next up, so two dresses. So these are slightly more dressy. These are definitely like holiday dressy or even wedding dressy or garden barbecue dressy or however, however you wanna wear them. And I loved this one. So this is a really long, floaty animal print one. It's got a couple, has it got two slits or one? Yeah, two slits. I mean, very slitty. Um, I really liked this. Again, I've definitely gone for lots of high neck ones because I just really like that sort of look. This ties up at the back, so it's like a sort of kind of halter style. Um, and I just really liked that. Again, it's kind of like a bit of a shiny material. So you could dress this one up or down because again, if you dressed it down with like um, a denim jacket, um, it would look really casual as well. Um, I just really like that it's floaty, really comfy. How am I gonna show you this one? Obviously I've got videos of me in them, which I must say as well, I'm so awkward because I've got quite a good mirror downstairs now. I thought I'll film them downstairs, but honestly I opened up all our blinds so I could get as much light in as possible. And then I was thinking, my neighbors are just gonna be looking at me like, what is she doing, like walking? Cause I don't really know like, what do I do? Like, cause I kind of want to show the clothes off. So I wasn't just sort of standing still. Um, but then equally I was sort of walking towards the mirror and then walking back again and then I was just thinking honestly if someone looked in they would be like what on earth is that girl doing? Um, but anyway, this one is probably my favourite of all the dresses but going to be very hard to show you because it's one of those wrap style dresses so at the moment it's just a big like expanse of material but it sort of goes down like this um, little sort of floaty sleeves, love the colour and print on this one, it's sort of a green spotty material, kind of goes up a little bit on the leg and then just wraps around so you can sort of make it as tight or as loose as you want to and again I just thought that was lovely, really really love all the things I bought, I can't, cannot wait to wear them but I need to get ready now. I don't know if you can see but I managed to get a stain on my t-shirt um, which I was going to wear today so now I'm going to take it off and put something different on because I managed to get a big stain down it so that's useful. <laughs> That goes off because sometimes I bang into this bush here. Does anybody recognise? You want you peek too soon. Does anybody? <laughs> does anybody take three? Does anybody recognise where I am? I mean, you know now because I've probably put in the outtakes. <laughs> you can say where we're going. Um, I'm popping Katie's Costco cherry. So that it was started. A that's a pop because. The other day, it was the coronation, mm. and we won a huge tub of pretzels in the raffle. No, I, yeah, we didn't. We weren't together. Maddie, my eldest, won a massive tub of pretzels, and they were absolutely good. Like, like, honestly, have you ever had them? Uh, no, but I have bought them from someone else, because I know someone else that likes pretzels. They were literally the most amazing pretzels that we'd ever eaten, and I said to our neighbour who gave the thing for the raffle, I was like, where did you get these from? And she said, Costco. And I was like, I need to go to Costco, and I mentioned it. What a it. rogue choice, isn't it, to give a pop a barrel because they come in like a barrel of pretzels it was literally this big that was the raffle prize okay. like it was the, you know when they the like grand so prize. everyone was sort of walking around like oh god i love those pretzels and we won them we were the first choice imagine if we get there i don't have any i don't know well i'm praying, putting a lot of hopes on this <laughs> and so i said on instagram oh like, i really want to go to costco and louise was like i'll take you guess who's a trade member baby so it's we're me. going vat registered i'm probably not going to film member that much in Costco. Louise is filming in Costco. So, so I'm doing a whole head. Costco vlog. You're doing the day. I'm doing the day. I'm just Snippets doing of the day. Costco intensive, exciting, detailed. It's like, you're, it's immersive. It's a sunny day. Look at the sun. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day and the we're sun here. sun is shining. We're here. We're here. At Costco Milton Keynes. All the pretty girls walk like this. I'm very this, excited. This. I'm excited. Do you want to I, the only thing is, I feel like I really. That's fine. Louise gets very warm. hot. Um, yeah. The only thing is, is that if they don't have the pretzels, I feel like I'm going to be disappointed. But I know there's going to be lots of other things. There's going to be other things that you're going to like. There's going to be other things that you will not come out. I won't come out disappointed. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. no, Sunny Jim. Oh no. 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 So we're off. I've popped my Costco cherry. She's done it, she's done it. We I thoroughly it. enjoyed it. Did you? Yeah, I did. What was your favourite thing? It was thing? busier than I thought. 
Well, that's because we didn't get here super early. But that's if you get, I was lame. <laughs> if you get here early doors, it's quite good. The worst time to come is on a Sunday afternoon. I got my pretzels. Yeah. I got my big two tops. I was going to get tops. one, and then I was like, you know what? I'm probably never. Well, not going to come back here for a long time, so I'm going to yeah. get two. I got some. I, in fact, I'll show you. I'll show you what I got when I get home. But I got some good things. You got some good bits. You were very tempted by like the kits, like the yes. quesadilla kit. They have and... like salad kit. <laughs> Goodness sake, I've never exited so quickly. Goodness sake. I was straight I out. I was a wasp. Straight yeah, out. I'm absolutely terrified of wasps. Oh, I know now. I was floating <laughs> like a wasp. <laughs> I've never moved so quickly in my life. Bye. Oh my God. That would be funny to watch it back. <laughs> that literally terrified me. Straight I thought it was, I, honestly, my biggest favour is wasps. Oh, no. Do you not know this about me? No. Oh, good God. I'm okay. We're okay. Yeah, so back to the kids. <laughs> <laughs> but you spotted it, which freaked me out. You well, I just thought it was fluff, but then when you screamed, I was like, it can't be fluff, I'm out of it. <laughs> right. Why is she screaming? Anyway, the kids, yeah. Like the salad kits, the burrito kits. Lovely kits. I wish I was having a party and I'd have got all that. Yeah. But <laughs> no, you're not. I'm not. You've got no friends. I got a load of donuts. <laughs> I'm excited I haven't got many friends. You're my only one. <laughs> and I'm going to scare you off by screaming at <laughs> fluff. You got the cro Oh, I got those cronuts as well. Yeah, I'm I fancy these are little cronuts. Should we have one now? Yeah, let's or, we taste test it. Yeah, let's taste this. Well, can, I take, can I take a picture of this for my thumbnail because I didn't get any thumbnail? The only thing is they're melting like. No just man, quick, no just, one's business. Oh, let's just get. I'm just shivering. Like me. Perspiring. The, the cronuts are perspiring. Now, what nice. is a cronut? What is the difference between a cronut and a donut? Not sure. This is the thumbnail for No, I don't feel it? like that. Here you are. What you get? What, oh, look, the chuckies are perspiring. I'm gonna have this. This one. Can I? Can I have one? Yeah. I'm gonna go for a plain one. Let's give it a taste test. Ready? One, yeah. two. We, I'm gonna have to put them in the boot because they are literally sweaty. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna drop. I'm uh -huh. oh, sorry. I'm okay. gonna start before you go. Bit wet. Um, uh, sure, I'm nice. glad I bought a whole tray. My kids will like them. Oh. Mm -hmm. Fine. Nothing like. I'm, I'm glad I've bought a ah! tray. Mm -hmm. Would I buy another tray? Maybe not. No. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Yeah. The more bites you have, the more enjoyable yeah. they are. I'm not getting. So, a cronut is meant to be a mix between a donut and a croissant. And I'm just not getting the croissant vibes as much as I would but like. But equally, it's not very donutty. Mm. Nice. Mm. The more bites you have, the better they are. Yeah, I'm going to eat it. And would I eat another one? Yeah. yeah. I probably well would. I probably well would eat another one, but they are perspiring. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to get them home to the kids and be like, here you go. It's really, really warm today. Should we, do you want me to put it in the boot for you? While you do your talking? Ah, I'm really talking now. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so that was Costco. We now know. we're going to go for some lunch. Mm. Mm. We are nothing if not basic bitches. Oh, yeah. Where are we going? Waggers. We're going Waggers. But to be fair, that is our number one date That's spot together. Like, yeah. Louise is just getting her. Costco stuff out of my car and a cat seems to have gone into the bag but this isn't her cat. What do you think you're doing there? What are you trying to get? Oh he's gone. Boy. Now he's coming in the car. So once this cat jumped in he my come... friend Esther's car and Esther just like got in and didn't really know what it was and jumped out she's like there's a fox. There's a fox. <laughs> oh my God. And we were in my house like what are we going to do? Should we call the RSPCA? Like how do we get the fox out? You're and very lovely but... <laughs> So this is Twinkles, and Twinkles has a thyroid problem, so... Oh, Twinks! It looks like he doesn't get fed, but he does. He's trying to trying to eat my pretzels. I know yeah, you, Twinkle. Yeah, got a little thyroid Twinkles. problem. Yes, he's a lovely boy. <laughs> we are back at Louise's house. Um, I'm very tired. You know, it's that sort of post-afternoon, sunny, mm. eating a nice wagon mama yeah. slump. And I also get... Do you get hay fever? I don't think so, no. Um, but I have been... 
obscenely tired lately and a few people message saying maybe it's hay it's fever and it's a weird symptom of hay fever because I, I do else. get tired from hay fever like I, yeah. all of a sudden my eyes are just feeling a bit heavy but I've got to go home because John normally I stay a while don't I you're going to have a ride with John yeah you? John. John's going on a bike ride with his chums oh. a load of, a load of uh, I made it a bit naughty I know you did you're trying to make it oh no it was your video that you made smutty yeah but mine. you ruined it because then yeah. you put your kids into it I was yeah, like sorry. oh wow, um, that's a joke John's over. going out with a load of men in lycra and then they're going to the pub. Nice. So I need to get back so he can go on his bike ride. So it's time for me to say farewell to it's you. It's been a lovely day. It's farewell. been a pleasure. It's been an absolute pleasure. An absolute gift. Farewell of to you. A farewell. Are we high fiving? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a really mum thing to do, isn't it? Let's never do that again. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Well, I'm not going. Well, I am going. I'm going home. And then I'll be back shortly with more exciting more content. Thr don't film more, this round here. More thrilling. Just film the one more, bit where it's not messy. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> more thrilling content. Farewell. Don't judge me. So I thought I'd show you what I got in Costco. I've actually got you balanced on one of my big tubs of salted pretzels plus a candle. So hopefully you're not going to fall off. But I may as well start with what you're balanced on. So I got two of these. It is a bit ridiculous getting two, but at the end of the day, this is what I went for. They are so good. So I did say on here, didn't I, that like Maddie won them in a raffle um, and they were just so good. So this is what has inspired my Costco trip. So I had to get two of them. Um, I just actually got home and showed, John's gone out on his bike now. Maddie's out at a friend's and I just showed Lottie and Wren all that I got and they were very excited as well. So I think like me, they're easily pleased. But that was the first thing I got, got two of those. Then you would have seen in the car, because we were eating them, I got these cronuts. Um, Lottie and Renna just had one and said they were very good. I need to get these in the fridge quite quickly. I also have freezer stuff that I need to get in the freezer quite quickly as well. But the next thing I got was this, which I was very excited about. So this is cookie dough core. So it's got a fudge core inside one and a caramel core inside the other. And I thought that you put them in the microwave, but I don't think you do, I think you eat them cold, which is even, I presume you probably could put them in the microwave if you wanted to, um, but this is exactly what I wanted because I don't know if anyone else has ever had cold cookie dough, but I actually prefer cold cookie dough more than I do actually having a warm cookie, if that makes sense. Why are you whining, Rosie? You're not excited about my Costco, Costco goodies? So I bought two of those just because I've never seen them before, so that was what I mean, like some brands, like I've never seen this brand before, um, so that's very exciting. Next thing I got along the sort of same lines as that was I got these because I thought the kids would love making these. So this is the London Dough Company Chocolate Chip Gourmet, that's a mouthful, Chocolate Chip Gourmet Cookie Dough um, and it bakes 12 cookies in 16 to 18 minutes. I thought the kids could just do them themselves and I know that they'll love those. So that's the next thing I got. Then I got... Only, so a couple of things I got, because Louise was like, you need to get these. So one thing I got was some broccoli salad, which I need to eat up because we're going away. What's that done? Oh, okay. Um, so one thing I got was this, because Louise recommended it. And um, basically it's, a, it's like it's a broccoli salad, the sweet onion dressing. And she just said it was really good. But we are going away, um, not tomorrow, but the next day. So I'm going to have to eat that up quite soon. So I got that. I then got this because Louise recommended it, which is Mexican style sweet corn, street corn even, with cheese. So sweet corn off the cob, coated in sauce and made with sour cream, chili powder and lemon. And she just said, you pop it in a pan and then you literally sprinkle on a packet of cheese and apparently it tastes really good. So she says sometimes she has that as a little snack on its own. I don't know how healthy it is, presumably not. I don't know, but anyway, it's probably better than sitting there munching chocolate. Um, but I thought that looked really good, so she definitely influenced me to get those. I then also got influenced by Louise, but slightly different, this, because she was going on about the yaki soba version. But this is teppanyaki, it microwaves, and they're in little sachets, um, and then you sort of microwave it up and eat it. And I thought that would be really good for sort of quick on the go lunches, you know, when you can't be bothered to cook anything or make anything. So yeah, you can either microwave it in four minutes 30 or you can stir fry it in six minutes. So again, I thought that looked quite intriguing. I kind of just wanted to get things that like, I wouldn't get in the normal supermarkets, although you're probably going to have to tell me that you can get those 
in other supermarkets. Again, next thing I got just for convenience for lunches and stuff, I've actually had one of these before. Um, where we live, or near where we live, our nearest town, there is a like kind of Asian supermarket and they sell loads of different types of ramen. And um, I've actually had this one. So this is the hot chicken flavor. And basically it's like a slightly like posher pot noodle, but it's really good if you just want a really quick and easy sort of lunch. Um, so I got some of those. Then I got ooh, these. So we love a waffle on a weekend. Maddie actually has a waffle maker, um, but the kids love having these with fruit and stuff as like a weekend breakfast. Um, and we always get them from Tesco's just like in packs. And I just thought these were a good way of doing it because they've got like quite a long sell by date. And um, I like, obviously it's a bit cheaper to buy them in bulk. So I got those. Next up, oh, are you just looking at me funny? Um, that's kind of really it. I got a huge big thing of strawberries and a huge big thing of raspberries, which I definitely need to get in the fridge. Um, look how big these strawberries are. Absolutely massive. Look at that one there. Blimey. Um, and then I got a very, very big can um, thing of Cokes. Oh my God, I can't even lift it really. I can't even lift it, it's that heavy. So I got a big 30 pack can of Coke. Um, oh, and then the only other thing I got was these. So I don't know if I said on my video or Louise's that Maddie was like, can you get me something in bulk that I can have for myself? So I got her these, but to be honest, I'm not gonna like give them all to her. I'm, I'm gonna share them out between the kids, but um, they're those like strawberry pencil things that they love. So I thought they could like split those and have them because there's loads in the tub. And that's kind of it really, apart from like, duplicates of the things that I've bought. So that's my little Costco haul. I really enjoyed going there and like popping my Costco cherry. It was good fun. Um, and now John's out on his bike and then he's going out for a few beers. Um, Ren and Lottie are upstairs somewhere. Maddie's out with her friend. I've got to come pick her up later. So I don't know what I'm going to do now. Put all this away and then who knows? I don't really know what I've done with my last few hours. I also feel like I've got pretzels in my teeth. So apologies if I have. I just cannot walk past those tubs of pretzels without having one. And that's why we ended up demolishing the last tub in like a week and a half last time because they are just so good. I've eaten loads. But yeah, I don't really know what I've done with my evening. I picked Maddie up. Lottie, Ren and I went to go and pick her up. We got back. They played in the garden for a bit bedtime obviously the girls don't need me to do bedtime for them anymore but did bedtime for Ren and then I just let him fall asleep in our bed we sometimes sometimes I just let him do that especially if John's out I uh, I read him a story and then I just thought just fall asleep in our bed and I lie with him while he falls asleep and um I just love it because one day he's not gonna need me or want me to do that anymore so I absolutely like relish those moments if you know what I mean like just Nice calm and feeling him fall asleep while cuddling me is just lovely. So I did that. I'll move him later back into his bed. And now I'm chilling with my dog, but he's just disappeared. He's just walked off. I don't know what it was I said. He was obviously offended by something that I said. And I don't think John will be back late. It's nine o'clock now though. I don't know where the evening's gone. Um, I did lie with Ren for quite a while. Um, and yeah, John will be back soon because he did say he wasn't going out all evening. So I think I'm just going to sit here don't know maybe watch some tv or read my book or something but thank you so much for watching this day in the life i hope that you enjoyed it um yeah <laughs> that's it really so i will see you very soon